Introducing the Wise Owl Outfitters Single Owl and Double Owl Hammock. Our hammocks are made of the highest quality materials. Although the nylon is very strong and can hold up to 500 pounds, it remains very soft. Similar to bed sheets, the higher the thread count, the softer the sheet. We use a silky smooth 210T nylon fabric for these hammocks, and our seams are stitched with triple interlocking stitching for ultimate security. We also have an attached bag that doubles as a storage pocket while inside your hammock. These hammocks come with two 9 foot long hammock straps with 10 different connection points combined. These allow you to easily hang your hammock anywhere in just a minute or so. To set up your hammock, find two trees that are about 12 to 20 feet apart and wrap the strap around the first tree. Put the end with several loops through the end with just one loop that also has the logo on it. Do the same on the other tree. Then grab your hammock and clip one carabiner to one of the loops on the strap. Repeat on the other end. If your hammock is hanging too low, you can adjust to another loop. Adjust the straps higher or lower on the tree. Or, if your trees are a little too close together, you can also wrap the strap around the tree more than once. Once your hammock is attached, you'll want to clear the area below it so there are no sticks or anything sharp. You also want to ensure that it is hanging at about 18 inches from the ground to easily get in and out of your hammock. Before you jump in, Please test the connections and the setup by pushing down on the hammock with a lot of pressure and pulling at the straps on the trees. The best way to enter your hammock is stand in front of it and open it behind you. Sit down and then swivel to the side. The most comfortable way to lie in your hammock will be at an angle. The single owl is great for one person and the double owl is perfect for two people or one person who wants a little more space. The single is 9 feet long by 4 and a half feet wide and the double is 10 feet long by 6 and a half feet wide. We are Wise Owl Outfitters. Years ago, we set out to make an awesome, high-quality hammock at a reasonable price. Since our first hammock, we've expanded our product line to include many useful and eye-catching products under the Wise Owl brand. We're located in the beautiful state of Tennessee and take great pride in being a U.S. company. We strive every day to improve our design, technology, and processes to offer the best and most useful outdoor gear and products possible. We hope our gear can give you a reason to get outside and enjoy our beautiful world. When it comes to outdoor lighting, a little spotlight can go a long way. These are BioLite Sight Lights, magnetically coupled discs that provide directional overhead light for your nights outside. Each sight light produces 150 lumens and contains 10 feet of cord, so you can hang and angle for any task. Power it via any USB source or from a BioLite lantern for added dimming functionality. Sight lights pack down into an orb for added durability and easy packability. Part of the sight light family, you can mix and match, creating a custom light setup to fit your sight. See your evenings in a whole new light with BioLite Sight Lights, part of the BioLite NanoGrid. Get back to nature with the Sleeping Go Double Sleeping Bag. When adventure calls, you'll be ready to take on any landscape, any climate. The durable outer liner is waterproof to keep you safe and snug. It's made from camping grade polyester to last a lifetime, while the inner lining is silky soft for a good night's sleep. The Sleep and Go Double Sleeping Bag will keep you warm and comfy on any adventure. Get it on Amazon! The Mr. Heater Little Buddy Indoor Safe Propane Heater is perfect for heating workshops, enclosed porches, hunting blinds, campers, tailgating, ice fishing, you name it. It's safe, provides hours of warmth, and it's easy to use and store. Let's get started. First, remove the unit from the box and check for any shipping damage to the unit. Make sure you have all the components listed in the owner's manual. It is very important that you read, understand, and follow all safety instructions and warnings in the manual before setting up and operating the unit. Now you're ready to set up the little button. Connect the heater to a one-pound tank. The tank should be installed in an upright position. Be 
sure the heater is away from any flames or other ignition source and that the heater is cooled to the touch. The tank threads must be properly aligned with the heater threads to avoid damage to the heater. Then insert the tank into the tank base for stability. Be sure the tank is pushed all the way down to the tank base. Using soapy water, check for leaks at the tank connection. Before starting heater, check clearance to combustible objects. Top 30 inches, front 24 inches, side 6 inches, rear 0 inches. Now press the start button. Check to see that the pilot light comes on and continue to hold the start button down for 30 seconds. Then release the button. Be sure the pilot light stays on. If necessary, repeat this process until the pilot stays on. The tip switch is an important safety device that shuts down the heater if it is knocked over or tilts past approximately 45 degrees. Once the tile is turned bright orange, tip the unit to test the tip switch safety device for proper shutdown of the heater. All infrared heaters, including the Mr. Heater Little Buddy, consume oxygen in the process of burning and must be properly vented. The Little Buddy is also equipped with a life-saving oxygen depletion system, ODS. The ODS senses the level of oxygen around the heater and shuts the heater down automatically if the oxygen percentage falls below a factory preset level. Now relight the unit. To shut off the unit, push the off button. You're now ready to use the Little Buddy heater to keep you warm and comfortable any time of the year. Be sure to watch the Little Buddy cleaning and maintenance video for tips on how to care for your heater. Mr. Heater is America's most popular brand of portable heaters. Remove the included scoop and brush from the water tank. The brush can be used to clean your Nanopresso of any excess grounds that can build up over time. The water tank also has a cup attached to it. Next, unscrew the portafilter and remove the coffee filter basket. Add finely ground coffee into the scoop. Transfer the finely ground coffee from the scoop into the filter basket. Be sure to clean any grounds off the rim of the filter basket. The next step is to tamp the coffee using the bottom of the scoop as a tamper. There should be about 4 millimeters of space at the top of the filter basket after you tamp. To ensure proper grind size, use a scale to weigh 8 grams of coffee. Next, put the coffee filter basket into the nanopresso and screw on the portafilter. Make sure the portafilter is screwed on tight. Next, add boiling water to the water tank. Fill the water up to the line marked on the inside of the water tank. Screw the water tank onto the nano presso. Unlock the piston by twisting it counterclockwise. Flip the nano presso upside down and start pumping with slow, consistent pumps to build up pressure inside the machine. It should take about 6 to 8 pumps to get up to pressure. After about 20 to 30 pumps, your espresso will be fully extracted. You will know the espresso is fully extracted once you no longer feel resistance. Piston. Once the espresso is fully extracted, the crema should be smooth and golden brown. Enjoy! The Q136, the best walkie-talkie for the youngsters. It has 22 channels to choose from and easy controls. 
Get them in green. Use them as a necklace. Or a bracelet. Press and hold to activate. Press the menu button to activate. Use plus and minus button to navigate channels. Push the PTT or push to talk button to activate the transmission. Get them now! Hey everybody, Sean with GrowlerWorks. I'm here at Growler Guys, Portland's premier growler filling station and tap room with owner Brendan Cox. As you can see, we have a UKEG 6.4 with us and today we're gonna to show you how to use it. Step one, start with a clean growler. Step two, fill it up with your favorite beer or whatever you like to drink. While Brendan's filling up the UKEG, I'm gonna show you how to use the regulator cap. We start with an eight gram threadless food grade CO2 cartridge available online or at kitchen stores. Insert the cartridge into the cartridge sleeve. Make sure the cap is in the off position and then screw the cartridge sleeve onto the cap. The cap's charged and ready to go. The last step is to cap the UK. Capping on foam ensures there's no oxygen left to spoil your beer. Make sure the tap is in the off and locked position. Increase the selector dial to your desired pressure. And you're good to go. Thanks, Brennan. Thanks, sir. Drinking beer is the most important step. We recommend sharing with friends. If you can't finish it all in one sitting, store it in the refrigerator for another time. When the UKEG is empty, it's important to clean it. The UKEG is not dishwasher safe, but it's easy to clean in your sink. Make sure the tap is open, fill with warm water, pour it out, and repeat a few times. You'll also want to rinse off the bottom of the regulator cap and cartridge sleeve. Set these aside to dry, and you're done. We hope you enjoy using the UKEG and keeping your craft beverages fresh. Cheers!